Okay, we're visiting here today with Rummel pitcher, shortstop, Scott Wetzel. And uh, we're discussing Rummel's fine uh, getaway in District 9, 5 8 Catholic League play. And um, Scott, we'll start with this. Uh, you guys certainly have, uh, have made a, a dramatic turnaround from 3-7 and seven getaway to the season to now uh, eight straight wins, 10 out of 12 uh, uh, overall. Uh, what in your mind accounts for, the, for such a dramatic turnaround? Uh, I think uh, the beginning of the season, we, had, uh, we played a lot of tough teams, especially up in the Sulphur Tournament. We've seen a lot of uh, great pitching uh, throughout the whole entire season. And I think that has uh, seen all those pitchers and playing those tough teams early in the season has really helped us to where we are now uh, as, as far as seeing teams and facing teams, facing good pitching. And, you know, it just it really gave us a, a confidence booster to uh, help us get to where we are now. Okay. Um, what, uh, 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 from an on-the-field standpoint, what is it about this team, its strengths, et cetera, that uh, uh, account for you know what you guys have done? I think a huge part of it is just believing in ourselves and you know, having confidence in ourselves that we can go out and perform to the best of our abilities. Okay. And uh, we'll go, uh, let's review last week. You guys opened Catholic League play with victories in a row against Brother Martin and then Jesuit, two teams that were ranked Martin third and Jesuit first in the Metro rankings. Uh, those wins certainly caught uh, outsiders by surprise. What about uh, inside the Rumble locker room? Um, well, we knew going into those games that Brother Martin and Jesuit were both very good teams, and they always are year after year. Um, you know, but going into those games, we had confidence in ourselves, and uh, we believed that we could beat both of those teams. And you know, when we got out there. You know, falling behind Brother Martin, you know, that wasn't anything new to us because we've been down before in games earlier in the season. So we just continued the battle like we've always done throughout the season. And uh, we, we came out on top of that one. And in Jesuit, uh, I think we just showed a lot of fight and showed the heart of this team. And we let people know that uh, we're a force to be reckoned with. Not to keep harping on the, uh, the underdog role or whatever, but do you guys ever stop and kind of pinch yourself the last week to 10 days about, uh, you know, I mean, because you certainly uh, uh, impressed a lot of people uh, with your resiliency. Well, we definitely uh, wanted to prove to, to people on the outside that we can beat any, anybody, you know. Um, even though we weren't picked ahead of those teams, we wanted to show people that we were uh, just as good as them or, or better, so that's what we did. Okay, and then going moving forward, uh, what's the mentality in that locker room about uh, can you guys keep it up and what do you have to do to keep it up? Well, our confidence is sky high right now and as long as we keep believing in ourselves and believing in our coaches and believing in our teammates, uh, I think the sky's the limit for us.